and Daytona, you know, what do you write? I've got a Triumph Daytona. Wow, what a sexy name. This is going to be the worst video I've ever done where all I'm doing is inanely giggling, extolling its virtues that I shouldn't like. talk we're uh, second hand uh, not really a showdown this because this is just one bike second hand heroes what shall we say yeah we're back at total triumph and uh, they've got this uh, 16 plate daytona 675 uh, not an r this one but still a daytona and with all the interest around the moto 2 engined one just out seemed a jolly good idea to revisit this and uh, see what we think let's have a go pretty classic sports bike look and I quite like that big uh, rev counter and the digital bit on the left that's a nice mix yeah good start right off we go well the first thing that hits you is well other than the riding position what are we doing? 50? Yeah, it's a 50. Um, just how low geared it feels. Here I am, I've just gone straight up 6th. And I want 7th, 8th. But then I look at the revs. And we're doing 4,000 revs. And, uh, oh. Sports bikes just hit you straight between the eyes. I am a big MotoGP British Superbikes fan, just love it, Rossi fanboy, have, uh, but I love the rest of the grid, um, and bike racing is just so exciting isn't it? And a sports bike, <clears throat> when you've ridden, they're just so cool. How could you not want one? Initial impressions. I really like the feel of it. And Daytona, you know, what do you ride? I've got a Triumph Daytona. Wow, what a sexy name. And this triple, well, I think this is the standard exhaust, but I know from experience that uh, you can make these things sound amazing not sure I could live with the riding position very long and pretty sure this doesn't have a quick shifter which is fine in fact I'll go as far as to say that's a positive for me oh now that's just touching the mid-range, let alone the upper end. <clears throat> oh, I bet this thing's fun. The ride is surprisingly compliant. Feels well damped. It's... that side of it's more comfortable than I thought. Triumph have brought out this new um, Moto2 engine, 765 Daytona, um, carbon this, that and the other trick bits, trick bike basically, <laughs> sold out immediately, uh, best part of 16,000 English pounds, and uh, it looks pretty cool, and those TFC, it was easy, I was one who scoffed at the Thruxton TFC, and you know how's that worth 17,000 well uh, until you see one in the flesh stand by one and all of a sudden you forget about the 17,000 pounds you don't obviously you can't but boy does it look a cool bike it's just you know I 
I would fully understand if you'd bought, if had the monies and you had bought a Thruxton TFC to sit in your office or in the <laughs> in the living room and just look at the damn thing. So Rocket TFC coming. Daytona TFC announced and sold out straight away, a bit like the Rocket. So I suspect the uh, Motor 2 engine 765 will be, with all its carbon and track bits and track dash, a uh, pretty sexy thing. But, let's say you haven't got £16,000. What does this thing feel like? I think, yeah, feels good so far. A little bit of let's go here. Boy, it makes a nice noise. And that's this one. <laughs> yeah, now you're going a bit quicker. Weight comes up off your hands and the world becomes a lot happier. About this. this is what sports bikes are all about, isn't it? Overtaking a lorry. <clears throat> Fourth gear, I probably should be in. What a noise! <laughs> oh. oh, could you be naughty on this? <laughs> oh, that triple, even with this exhaust, that triple noise is... Mm. Yeah, that's special. This is a pretty well sorted bike. I'm slowly getting used to it. And uh, love the manual gearbox. Oh, you would be going that way, wouldn't you? Operatives loading. Well, I don't think so at the moment. What have we got behind us? So it's a sort of uh, second hand heroes, I guess, isn't it? Not really a showdown because we're not comparing it with anything. Um, and uh, I'm not going to go on about figures one because it's difficult to find exactly what it is but 120 130 PS brake horsepower whatever um, not a lot of talk it's all about revs incredible howl from the triple lovely induction noise uh, and it just blends to, uh, it, uh, utterly addictive um, it's light uh, I think they're saying something like 180 odd, 185 wet, i.e. with fuel and oils and battery and in other words how you would ride it. That's still light, pretty light um, and feels it and it feels well sorted and that triple as I keep saying and repeating myself is addictive. There's not a lot I don't like about it. It looks good from both sides. You can get all sorts of trick bits. I like this. Um, it's a bit digitally, but it's a bit classic. I quite like that cockpit. I think that's good. Mirrors, yeah. I didn't think I'd like it in the red, but I do. Oh dear, another biased review from Farmer. Okay, so quick look at it. I'm going to ride it back to the dealers and uh, and I have to say I'm looking forward to that. Um, yeah, let's go. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh, I want a sports bike. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> oh. If you haven't ridden a proper sports bike for a while, do yourself a favour, get out on one.
not on gravel like just there <laughs> front end decided to wow this is um oh talk about devil on your shoulder but it's the whole experience once you've stopped looking at it and this one it takes a long time for me to stop looking at this and then the sound of it there's a really uh, deep and prominent induction roar when you open the throttles there <laughs> we won Gosh, this thing's fun. So sharp, it's like a scalpel. Is there anything more thrilling than a full-on sports bike? I guess there is. But to ordinary mortals? Well, I'm not so sure. Gosh, this thing is. It's what? It's just... I defy anyone not... Who is into bikes? Not to enjoy this, even... Even for a short period of time. There we go. Happy days. proper sports bike is <laughs> it's the sheer the visceral raw sharp it's just full on mm. constantly battling um, visibility and speed That's why you're constantly battling. Ooh, will we be able to nip past the lorry? Maybe up here. We'll see. Maybe just over the top here. Enjoy the view. There is a good view over there. Oh, it's about here, I wonder. Why not? <laughs> I don't want to give this back. <laughs> Oh, it's um, it's just the whole responsiveness of it, and uh, whenever I ride a ride, drive a really quick car, I mean properly quick, yeah, that you can, that's impressive, of course it is, but still nothing nothing has come close to not even not even don't even think about comparing how the assault on the senses pleasure thrill that a sports bike super bike does 
it's um, not for everyone I appreciate but for those who get it oh blimey mmm mmm oh piggy bank problem mm. be summing through the adverts so where do I sum this up um well crap Greg at Taunton rang me in, said, Ooh, got this Daytona in, do you fancy having a go on it? Then we talked and mentioned, we were talking about the Motor 2 bike and how it sold out straight away. Now this in, I think Craig was suggesting, you know, they've put that engine into this. Mm, I'm not so sure about that, but this is a fabulous bike. I'm... I'll be honest, when the offer came up to ride it, I thought, yeah, 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 mm, yeah. And I thought it would be maybe good for the channel and, you know, have, get a sports bike on there. Hmm, bit of sporty credibility. That's what we need. Credibility, credibility. Uh, and, you know, and I'll ride it a bit and this and that and the other, which is what I've done. But I've absolutely loved it. I even like mucking about here. I realise I'll disappoint people that I should be front wheel in the air. Three figures. But that's not the point. Um, it's a great bike. It feels so well... Of course it's well sorted, but it really is well sorted. And there's some character there that most of the Japanese bikes don't have. It's a sharper, I think it's a, it feels a sharper tool than a Panigale. A Panigale has, I think a Panigale is maybe my favorite sports bike, but it's a, well, I think it is. Do I think it is because I think it should be? Bloody hell! Wow! <laughs> it's a sit up. Can I just re can I review something by just laughing? <laughs> what? This is quick. I how qu it's properly quick. It all gets a bit silly, this what's quick, and everyone looks at the numbers. Think this is a comfy 11 dead standing quarter. Uh, heading on for 130. And uh, yeah, there you are. A really informative, subjective review. Basically, um, am I surprised I'm enjoying this? No, I said, well, yes, I am. Yes, I am. I've said I am. And I am. I'm, I'm certainly not comfortable. Um, I'm not in pain. Yet. I mean, I would be. But it's half an hour. I could certainly, I'd certainly go proceed further. The main thing is, when I hand the keys back and say, yeah, thanks, that was fun, it will be meant. And I will, when I get back, flick through Bike Trader. <laughs> and I will go, ooh. There you are. I think we'd better leave it there in the, uh, from the <laughs> Triumph Daytona Appreciation Society, newly formed, aka Farmer. Uh, thanks for watching. Great to have you along. Um, oh, all sorts of vids coming. I don't know what. Um, you know, vids, those sorts of things. Um, it's just great. Keep commenting. Your comments are fantastic. Well, most of them anyway. So, yeah, much appreciated. I'll try and answer. Hope you're going around there. Good. Yeah. Bye for now.
this thing has loads of character. What is character? How, how do you define it? I could loosely say it's the triple engine, but it's not that. It's more than that. It's the look of the thing. Touch of it, the feel. I find it really difficult to define, but it's very clear when you feel it. Funny old thing, character. Oh, he's a bit of a character, isn't he? You might say. But what does that mean? Hmm. You know what it means as I'm saying it. You try and describe it though in words. Loose ends. Hmm. Beauty parlor. Hmm. Have you any loose ends? Hmm. Things you do when you're waiting. Walk in. <laughs> Quite like that. Oh dear. In fact, I like that a lot. I wonder if they're any good. <laughs> oh, traffic lights. 